Hello and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Tech. Today I'm taking a quick look at Fairburn OS, which uses Linux Mint as its base, and it says it's English born, which is where I'm from, so I thought I'd give it a look. Okay, all right. Fairburn OS 2016.2 Lucid 64 bit. Let's have a look at what they say their new features are. This is running in a virtual box, much like most of my... Oh, one second. So they use Vivaldi as the, um, the web browser. I'm not sure I like it, but... Okay, let's close that for now. Okay, so we'll leave that minimised. So, this is one of them distributions that, you know, says, well, advertises that it's a good sort of replacement for someone coming from Windows or Mac. Um, I think you can change, I think they have their own theming manager or something I've read where you can... Um, Anyway, let's have a look at it. So, down at the bottom right, we've got a volume network. So, that, is that an update icon? I think. A variety preferences. So, what is all of this? Right. Okay, I don't think that's going to load. Let's have a look at the themes. Is it going to load up the themes? There we go. Crikey, what's all of this? So it's got Chrome OS look, Windowsy looks, XP. Crikey, there's a lot here. Let's have a look at the Chrome OS because I actually use a Chromebook, so I'd like to have a look at how they. Hmm, kinda. Uh, I'm not sure I like that one. Oh, uh, Elementary Luna. I don't, I'm not sure when that's changed, really. Okay. Um there's the Windowsy looking ones. So I'm guessing this is Windows eight look or Metro Pack. Let's have a look at this. Oh, there we go. It's not changing this the launcher. Hold on. Let's get back to the stock cinnamon, I think they oh, Aero Basic, hold on. <laughs> no, it's got a little Windows bud in there, but the Ferran thing's still over it. Okay, let's get back to cinnamon. Oh, that's quite nice. What was we on then? Because that's changed. Oh god, Windows 10 Dark, let's have a look at that. Oh, 
we'll leave it on that for now and we'll just get on with the first impressions so let's check out the software center I should imagine it's just the um choose the Ubuntu one or something Right, so it comes with out of the box maps, docky, well that's a slow animation. Nice to see that it has play on Linux and Steam installed out of the box. Oh, it does have Firefox built in, it just likes to use Vivaldi. We'll set Firefox as the default. I don't know why Steam is in the internet bit and also in the games, that's a bit annoying. Okay, Office. Oh, so it comes with WPS Writer and Libre, so you can choose, which is nice. Oh my god, what's this? I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but we'll um we'll close that, we'll have a look at it in a bit. Oh, Oh no, I think we've crashed on France. It's not playing very well with my virtual box, this operating system. Can I get a terminal open? No, I can't even use the keyboard shortcut to turn. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll reboot and then we'll uh we'll we'll start where we left off. Oh no, here we go. Terminal's up. Oh, France is just the the welcome screen, is it? Right, I'm gonna reboot anyway. You'd think they'd have um, edited that not to say Ubuntu 18. I think why it says Ubuntu 18 is because it's based off Linux Mint 18, I think. It's a bit sloppy. It just had the, um, the Mac little ball there as well. I think this operating system has a bit of identity crisis. It's not... It's not really excelling at one thing, it's trying a bit of everything. Oh, it's slow to load up as well. There we go. So yeah, France was just a welcome the welcome messenger thing. I think no it wasn't because that's the welcome screen so what is this Alright, I don't <laughs> This is a bit of a disaster, this one. Um, browse C drive. Oh, wine, sorry. In another world there. Right, 
let's start that again. So, let's switch to that. Okay, accessories, disks, maps, document viewer, docky, file browser, and an archive manager. Screenshot, variety, USB, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look at the weather. Um, I'm not quite sure on by sea, but close enough. So it's nice to see that they've got Steam installed and play on Linux out of the box. So I guess I'd prefer you to use Vivaldi, but I'll just set that as your default really, with Firefox or download Chromium. Office, so you've got the usual suspects there, LibreOffice, but it's nice to see that you've got WPS right there as well. And turn on Windows 3. I like that it comes with Banshee actually, and VLC out of the box too. That's nice to see. So you've got your Wine. As I said, this is meant to be sort of an easy transition for X Windows Mac OS users, so there that's yeah. Preferences and then administration. Okay, do we have a system monitor? Yes we do. Right, what's this thing using? It's actually not using as much RAM as what I thought it would be. It's only using 613. I expected a lot more, actually. Let's open some programs and see how it handles all this stuff. So let's get open. Let's open WPS, make a change. And we'll we'll open the dreadful Vivaldi. It's a smart move choosing WPS because it does, you know, really look like Windows. Microsoft Office. Uh, one second. Oh, I do not like this web browser. Oh my god, there we go. So you'll often see me try and do the freeway split out of the box, and very it's very rare that they have them on the snap, but this one it does. So if we get that, we we'll snap that to the right. And then let's open files, and then it should go like that, and then let's snap that. Oh, where's the... No, don't make me look stupid. There we go. Ah, so yeah, out of the box, I'm quite impressed that it's got the snapping enabled, but properly like that. That's good. So let's check system monitor, and now we've bumped up to 1.3. CPU utilization is quite high. Why is that so high? 90 100%. Wow. It's fluctuating quite a bit, that. Let's have a look at their desk looks. So, um, let's just add that for a moment. So yeah, nothing new here. Desklets have been around. Can you move the time? Hmm. You probably can. Anyway, let's get rid of that. And let's see what backgrounds it comes with. I'm going to imagine quite a few because... Yeah, loads. <laughs> right. Um, let's just pick something nice for a minute. Oh, what's a does that not go transparent? Right. So 
So I put it on a 15 minute delay and then that will change the background every 15 minutes. Let's check the file browser. Oh, there's the tabs. I couldn't see. It looks a bit like the. Um... No, I thought it looked a bit like the elementary file browser. Could be wrong. Okay. So what can we do with the panel? That's better, it was quite large wasn't it? Check out the panel themes not loading anywhere. There we go. Ah, oh, it's just the same thing there. Oh my god. Right, <laughs> gone back in time to Windows XP. Crikey, that's a blast from the past. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do much more on this. Uh, this is a, I don't know. I guess this has got its purpose, but I wouldn't personally use this in its current form. But if it helps people get away from Windows and Mac onto Linux, then I'm all for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.